Hello Booktube, uh, today I'm going to be giving you my review of Div Men Don't Bleed by Walter L. Bright, which I read as part of Dune on the Range, an event created by Michael K. Vaughan, uh, where you're encouraged to read all things Western during the course of June. And being as this is the uh, last day of June, this is also my last Dune on the Range um, review. Uh, the story follows a man called Book Norris, who uh, in 1874 uh, arrives at the town of Raymondsville. Um, as he is approaching town he sees uh, two young men uh, firing guns whilst chasing a young woman who's uh, driving a cart. Um, Book intervenes and puts a bullet in one of the men's, uh, one of the young men's uh, legs to send them off and save the young woman. However, it turns out that the two young men are sons of the local big rancher, uh, Walt Grayson, who also happens to effectively own the town because of how much land he owns. Uh, then um, Book goes into uh, Raymondsville itself, and then gets arrested by the sheriff because uh, the sh sorry the marshal because the marshal thinks he's uh, his brother uh, Ray Norris. Uh, what happened was that uh, both Book and Ray served in the Confederate Army, but in 1863 they left the Confederate Army when their parents were murdered, and then the two brothers went their separate ways. Uh, Book uh, went to about his work, went about his life for the next eleven years as a um, just doing various jobs, whilst Ray went to avenge his parents and um, became an outlaw, which is why Book gets arrested. And the, the rest in the rest of the book, uh, Book himself uh, gets drawn caught up in uh, Grayson's plans, as well as dealing with outlaws who also think he's his he he who think Book is Ray. And uh, he gets himself in trouble with the law, and sort of get and sort of events sort of uh, sort of develop from that, and get uh, more and more uh, complicated. Um, I won't say anything more because um, I don't want to spoil it, but it's a good story, um, one of the better ones. Still not as good as Money Train, which is still, as far as I'm concerned, the best of the Black Horse westerns I've read during the course of June. But it's really good. It's got good action. Um, <coughs> Good characters. You can uh, you actually get a, a good bit of. Uh, they're not they're not merely um, cardboard cutouts that you sometimes get in this black with with some of the black horse westerns I've read. You actually get the idea that these are real people. Uh, you don't necessarily get a great deal of detail in there, but just the way that they speak and some of the sort of um, the descriptions of them, you know, come across as these as the characters being real people. And um, Book is a very sympathetic character. Um, being the fact that he's he doesn't want to get in trouble, but then seems to be drawn into it, one by saving the lady at the start, and then being mistaken for his brother, and then having to sort of pretend to be his brother when he's with the outlaws, and then as well as sort of having this confrontation with Grayson uh, due to these sort of various confrontations with his sons, and um, quite a bit of action in here. Um, so very much, I can imagine this being made as a sort of reasonably, uh, not, not, not more of like an A-picture western in the 50s, very much a classic western. Um, other than the year, you don't actually know where it takes place, um, it's just a, a town in the west. Um, somewhere, possibly Texas, Arizona, Colorado, that's sort of somewhere in the southwest of the US. Um, but you don't really need to know. It's, as I say, sort of a classic western in that sense that's as soon as you start, you sort of know where you are without being given too much detail, and it sort of goes from there. Um, as I say, I enjoyed it. Um, it's worth the read, and um, I'll, I think I am. Even though June on the Range is going to end, I think I'm going to continue reading um, Black Horse Westerns over the course of the year, uh, one or two a month, because I've really enjoyed the ones that I've read. Before, I've read this month, and I really sort of, um, and I really sort of wish I'd read them earlier. Because they are quite good. They're not all sort of clear cuts, sort of classic westerns where there's uh, where there's no swearing or sex or anything like that. Some of the ones I've read I have been have been quite explicit, which I didn't expect. I thought they'd be very sort of restrained, sort of PG or sort of U or PG stuff. Whereas some of them are not. So as I say, I'll be reading a few more of these over the coming months. But um, with that booktube, I'll say goodbye, and also I'll say goodbye to June on the Range. Um,